Hello everyone, Richard from Signature Solar here, and today I'm excited to show you our 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery. This is the EG4LL model. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features on this model, and I'll give you guys a chance to take a look at the inside as well. So taking a look at the exterior of the battery here, this is a powder coated metal case. So it's gonna be very sturdy and hold up to, you know, a little bit of movement, especially during shipping. You don't have to worry about uh, too much damage to the interiors if it does get jostled around a little bit. This is the rack mountable version. So on the front, we do have the sections for mounting these to the racks, and this will fit into a standard 19 inch server rack. So we do have those available on our website, or if you already have one, this should fit right in there. Um, one of the things that I like, being the guy who moves these around a lot, is the handles on the front here. These uh, allow you to pick it up and set it down pretty easily. Um, and then once you have it where you want to put it, you just fold them in and they actually fold out of the way here for you. As we continue across the front here in the lower left corner, we have the grounding screw. And then we've got our two terminals on opposite sides here. We've got the red for positive and the black for negative. These are M8 screws on the interior here. So large enough to carry any current or voltage that you're gonna be using with this model of battery. And it should fit almost any uh, cabling out there that you would be required to have to support the, the current and the, the amperage that this has. So. One thing I do really like about these is they also include these plastic covers. So you don't have to worry about accidentally uh, connecting the two or dropping a tool or something. They're completely recessed on all sides. And then these just pop off whenever you're gonna put your cords on. And uh, once you've got them on, you can put these back on for safety if you'd like. In the center here, we do have the LCD screen with a couple of buttons. And to turn this on, this is uh, your uh, interface for working with the BMS. And there's just a switch over on the right hand side to turn that on. I'll go ahead and flip that on real quick here. The LCD screen takes a second to initialize. And once you're inside, you can actually see most of the um, vital information directly from the screen. You don't have to connect it to any other uh, device to, to see this information, but it gives you the voltage, your charge, your state of charge. Um, if there's any current going through the battery, then you can see that as well, and the temperature. If you actually push the enter button, you can cycle through and see all the different cell voltages, and you can push enter again to see all of your different temperatures. There's multiple temperature sensors in here, and you can see all those on this screen. You press enter one more time, takes you back to the main screen. To the right of the screen, we've got the dip switches, and these can be used to communicate with a BMS software that you can download from Signature Solar's website. And you can switch these on and off to whatever configuration you need for what you're gonna be doing. Um, we do have the information on communicating with this battery uh, on several of our other videos, so go ahead and check those out. Um, up here on the top, we've got a Chint breaker. This is a 125 amp breaker. And this is actually turns off the positive terminal on your battery. So uh, if you need to turn it off for any reason, you can just use this to quickly turn it off. And then when you're ready to turn your system on, you just flip it to the on position. This is completely separate from your BMS. So you can actually turn the BMS on while this is off and take a look at your battery statistics without ever powering the terminals. So you can do this really anywhere. Once you have it installed though, you can flip the, this breaker to the on position and use your battery like normal. This model does include four ports on the front for different uses. Um, some other models may only have two, but this one it has a CAN port uh, for CAN communications an RS-485 port for RS-485 communications. And then to the right of this, we do have our battery comm ports. If you're gonna have multiple batteries communicating, you can put them in series using these. And then finally, 
um, the on off switch for our BMS screen here. Again, this is operated separately from the on off switch for the terminals at the top. On the right hand side, underneath those four ports that we just talked about, we do have a couple of different uh, buttons and lights here. So the first one is the reset button. And this can be used if you ever um, drain your battery too much or you need to reset the BMS for some reason. Uh, we do have some instructions on using that in the manual. And then over to the right, we've got three sets of lights. So there's the ALM light or the alarm light. There's the run light. And then there's the SOC lights. The ALM, that's your alarm light. That's gonna indicate if there's an issue with the current setup or something that you need to address. Those codes, for the alarms can be found inside the software that we provide. The run just lets you know if the uh, BMS is running. And then over to the right hand side, we do have the SOC lights. They will light up for each 25% that the battery is charged. And when you're looking at these, um, you'll see that there's a little indicator here of uh, which one is full and which one's not. So the first light is up to 25% up to 50%, up to 75%, and then finally, when it reaches 100% state of charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what the inside looks like. So real quick to open this up, you just need a Phillips screwdriver. Um, there's a total of 12 screws. There's three on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's three across the top here to take the top of the battery off. So real quick on the inside of the cover here, I'd like to point out we do have a plastic sheet cover here just to prevent any accidental contact um, between the top of the battery, the cells, and I'll show you guys those close up here in just a moment, and uh, the top of the battery, which is metal. So when I open up the battery, We've taken the top off and you can take a look on the inside here. Um, I always really love opening up the EG4 brand of batteries because every single time I'm always impressed with the cable management on the inside. You can see that all these cables are tied down. They're glued where they need to be. They're very, you know, they're tight and taut. So there's no loose cables running anywhere. And the other thing that I really enjoy is all of these do come with little markers. Um, telling you exactly where they're going, what they're being used for. You can see the communications, you can see the, um, the, the voltage checks, you can see the temperature sensors. So it's very clear exactly what you're looking at when you're inside of the battery. Um, from the top, you guys can now see that these batteries are actually placed in a recessed casing here that's a hardened plastic. This is just to prevent anything from smashing into the top of the batteries um, from possibly causing short circuits or any damage to the actual cells themselves. And the cells are held in place very securely. On the front here, there's a metal panel that's gonna hold them into place so that they're not gonna jostle around when they're being shipped or if you're moving them at home. Another thing that I really like is on top of the cells here, these bus bar connections, are all actually welded as well as screwed into place. And for most people, once they get their battery into place, they're gonna leave it there. But there are some people out there who are gonna be installing this into like RVs or um, you know campers, things like that. And one of the biggest complaints that we see with cells that are not welded is those connections can break and their battery stops working properly. So really nice and secure, we pay extra for that just to, to make sure that these come in and they're really in a, a high quality um, condition when we get them and when you receive them at home. So. so I've gone ahead and repositioned the camera so you can see the front area just a little bit easier here from the inside. So you can see exactly the quality that you're dealing with when you get the EG4 LL model. So real quick, I'd like to point out, we do have the breaker here. This does cut off the positive terminal of the battery. So you can see that's the front and then this is on the interior. This whole unit right here is your BMS. So you can see the brains inside the battery here. This is kind of what 
tells the battery exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So you'll see that you've got a lot of different cords coming off of here and running to your, your cells. Um, depending on where they're going uh, and exactly what they're set up to do, they could do anything from tracking voltage to tracking the temperature. Um, this right here is your BMS that those are all connected to. And that actually provides you with a lot of different safety features for the battery to keep it in good condition, as well as to protect your investment. So it includes the voltage warning and protection. That's actually at a module level and at a single cell level. Has current warning, um, temperature warning. This does include the state of charge and the state of health calculation in there as well. So those will be displayed on the front screen whenever you're trying to set those up. This also allows you to communicate with your inverter or with the PC BMS software that's on Signature Solar's website for download. Um, this battery does include a pre-charged resistor. So this, you don't have to, you know, input a separate resistor to set it up before you plug it into your inverters. Um, and then it includes a off mode, an on mode, and then there's a uh, sleep mode if it's idle for too long as well. So depending on the condition that it's currently in, it'll let you know exactly what mode it's currently operating in. And that can be seen on the front screen as well. And real quick, again, I just wanted to zoom in even further onto some of the details that you might miss if you're further out. So if you look inside the, the case, you'll see that a lot of these cords are not only attached, but they are glued down as well to make it a little bit more of a secure connection. Over here, we've got our BMS. The ribbon cables on the BMS are removable. So if you ever do need to replace the BMS or something happens where you put too much voltage in, um, or you know somehow damage this you can actually replace this bms directly and as we cycle over here you can see again all of those cords connected very securely uh the even in the front area here where you wouldn't even look the the cables are all managed properly and they're not just hanging out or loose down in the bottom area there Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I'm Richard with Signature Solar, and I hope you enjoyed today's video about the EG4 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. If you like today's content and you'd like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any ideas on something you'd like to see on any of our future videos, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Have a great day.